So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy Ellen. I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute, man. Time for some thrills and chills. Time for some thrills and chills. So before we get into the video, which is the 30 scary videos that will wake you up tonight, I need y'all to make sure the house is secure. I need you to make sure the windows is locked, the lights is dim or off, whichever one you prefer. <laughs> Set that mood. And let's get into this video. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Join the fam. Let's go. Coming up in this video. The f Do you need a good night's sleep? Then find something else to watch because these 30 scary videos will wake you up tonight. Number 30, Escaping the Lions. Nature can be beautiful. It can also be- This always messed me up, bro. I've seen this clip twice and this messes me up, fam. Can you imagine being in that tent? I'd have passed that long time ago. As soon as I heard them, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm out. Gruesome, published by Rex Schaller in July of 2019. These unhappy campers had some fearsome creatures stalking their campground at night. When that lion just ran across this den, I know somebody peed themselves. The scary footage shows a man peeking his head outside his tent, only to spy an enormous lion creeping past. He quickly re-zips the tent flap, turns off the light, and lays flat inside the tent. This seems to a ain't even no reason for me to peek my head out the tent, bro. <laughs> as soon as I heard that, bro, uh, yeah, ain't nothing out there but death. Alerts another lioness who leaps through the ropes of the tent area <laughs> while the big lion calmly looks on. The pair of lions stalk past the tents. The lion paces back and forth, eager for their meal to be plated, while the lioness reclines, waiting patiently. After a moment, another massive lion shows up. For some reason, one of the campers keeps peeking his head out of the tent, which disturbs the big lion who manages to knock the roof's cover down over the tent flap. The lions continue to stalk them, even pawing at the tent aggressively and pulling on the poles with its massive claws. The lion grows more and more aggravated and aggressive. Finally, the pair appear to become bored and wander off into the night. Many in the comments say these campers were lucky the lions were only curious, not hungry. Others note how the zipper somehow gave them a sense of security, when that was probably never the case. <laughs> One thing's for sure though, these unhappy campers didn't get a wink of sleep that night. Number 29 child at the door. What would you do if a child showed up at your doorstep at night? Posted to TikTok by Shane King 85 who said it was from his neighbor's security camera. This ring video was captured at 3.30 in the morning. The video looks outside onto the front doorstep. A young girl in a nightgown walks up to the door and knocks, looking into a side window. Go on, little Caroline. That's what I'd have yelled out the, out the ring doorbell. Nope, go on, little Caroline. Oh, it appears she is alone, although some have said they see someone lurking in the darkness behind her. After peeking in at the other side of the door, the girl runs off after an alarm detects motion. She wanders into the darkness. Most everyone in the comments tells the TikToker to call 911. Others think that it could have been a setup. Was this girl in trouble of some kind? Or was someone nefarious using her as a decoy to try and break into the home? It's certainly a scary thought in my opinion, but maybe it's definitely scary when the unknown of that is scary because a child, your innate response is going to be to help make sure she's okay. Why is she wandering in the dark? And somebody could set you up that easily. Neither. <laughs> Perhaps it was just a case of ding dong ditch. Number 28. Face in the window. This eerie video has me doing a double take. Published by Spot You Like in April of 2008. This scary clip is filmed outside the stunning York Minister. The bells are ringing and the cameraman is taking it all in. He 
He scans the cathedral and then starts walking toward it. A shot later, he is continuing on his way down a narrow shop lane. While the bells continue to sound, shops line either side of the street. But watch what happens in the upper window to the left. The cameraman zooms in on the ghostly pale face of a small child looking out the window. The child's eyes are dark and inky, and its face, mask-like. As the camera zooms, the child- Bro, I hope that's a ghost. Cause if that's not, that kid ain't seen outside in years. Disappears. The uploader notes that the house is called the Bell Fry and was built in the 17th- That is one of the palest faces I've ever seen, so that gotta be- a ghost. Century. Some in the comments claim to have stayed there and say that it has seriously spooky vibes. Is this the thing putting out those vibes? I'd say it's a pretty good chance. Number 27. Crawling Creature. What do you make of the creature in this creepy video? Published in June of 2017, a car is driving through a desert when it slows to a stop. Some animals appear in the area near a fence from far off, they look like they could be anything. Cows, dogs, the video is unclear. But as the camera zooms in and the car backs up and then turns around to get an unobstructed view, we see that at least one of the creatures looks like something from a horror movie. It almost looks like a humanoid doing a bear crawl, but I can't imagine a human being able to pull that off for as long as that. When it, that makes you think of like a, a kid or something that was raised by animals and now they've trained him to walk like they walk. This creature does. The way it moves is not characteristic of any animal. It's unnatural. The creature continues on trotting alongside the other animals. Is this human? And see they ran past him like they trust him. Human? Humanoid? Animal? Or some other unknown? It definitely is something I've never seen before. Number 26. Leopard Leaping. If you've ever worked night security, human activity is likely the most you've ever had to worry about. Working security in India is another story. Published by World of Wildlife and more in January of 2018, this security guard couldn't believe his eyes when he encountered a big cat roaming the Mumbai neighborhood at night, captured at nearly one in the morning. What's crazy though, it looked like it was gun. If that car wouldn't have, I think that car saved that person's life. If that car didn't come around making that sound, that leopard looked like he was gunning straight for her or him. Whoever is sitting in that chair right there, they, he was gunning towards them. And then that car came around and he changed his direction. The security guard is seen sitting on a plastic chair, probably trying his best to keep awake. The street is quiet. Just as the car approaches, so does an enormous leopard. The big cat looks like he's aiming toward the guard, but as he sees the car's light, the leopard rushes across the street instead and leaps up and out of sight. Wrapped in a blanket, the security guard goes to check it out, likely what? thinking he dozed off and was imagining things. After looking for the cat for a moment. The security guard walks off camera and returns with a big stick. The video ends before viewers see if he was forced to use it, but hopefully the le What that stick gonna do? Leopard didn't stick around. The man was lucky the car showed up just in time. He could have been that leopard's lunch. Number 25, Graveyard Ritual. This witch is up to no good. Published by Zona Paranormal Vera Cruz in December of 2021. This scary video starts with a flash. While well, in this graveyard, the man appears to have happened upon a ritual being performed. A figure is speaking and making this fire come to life. Later, amongst the mausoleums, the man hears that strange voice again in the darkness. Yeah, 
giggles, followed shortly by a high-pitched sing-song voice. The man then falls forward hard, pushed by an unseen force. He sees a ghostly figure from a distance approaching him. And then it's too close for comfort. <laughs> the fire is blazing again, and upon approaching the fading flames, the cameraman sees a witchy woman hunched over departing. Señora, señora, solo vengo a explorar, no vengo a hacer daño. Allá dentro, allá dentro una sombra, allá dentro una sombra, allá dentro, allá dentro. What sort of ritual was this witch performing? This cameraman might find out in his days to come. Number 24. Creepy Creature. Want to see the power of a piranha up close? Posted to TikTok by The King Horror. This creepy video shows a bouquet of piranha and their chompers at work. One of the piranhas is shown biting at a crab's claw. With ease, the fish snaps onto the claw, which is no match for it. When the claw is pulled away, the piranha's terrifying mouth continues to gape open. Piranhas have a bite force of up to 320 newtons. That's nearly three times stronger than that of an American alligator or a great white shark. So I definitely wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of this fish's bite. Number. Is that true? Are you? Are their bite force that that po like that strong? You serious? I'm gonna have to look that up. I didn't know that. 23. Nurse Phantom. Is this phantom nurse here to heal you or to hurt you? Published by Luan Mendez in May of 2020. Luan and his crew are exploring an abandoned hospital whose staff hasn't really left. Wandering the halls, they seem to turn down one hallway where they seem to spot something skulking in the darkness. <laughs> The thing must have disappeared, so they move on, continuing in their search, and that's when they see her, Nurse Ratchet. They race away as fast as they can, and one of the crew falls unexpectedly to the ground. It almost looks like he was clotheslined by something invisible. The crew manages to make it out of the hospital alive, and that's no thanks to the creepy phantom nurse. Number 22. Don't close the door. Is this the work of the legendary magician Hashina? Published in September of 2021, this scary video is tantalizing. Well, I don't have the full context. The short clip shows some men sitting around a room. Some of the men are chanting. What are they trying to do? Exercise someone of a possession? I'm not sure. But as the group sits there, a creepy shadow figure emerges from behind a door's fogged glass window. It rises and there doesn't seem to be enough room behind the door for something to remain otherwise hidden. What's going on here? Is it some sort of ritual? Don't close your eyes, because when you wake up tonight, this thing will be waiting for you. Number 21. Highway Tornado. You can run, but you can't hide. Published by WFLA in January of 2022. This scary video shows that danger will come for you when you least expect it. The video shows a police car driving down a Florida road, his siren blaring. A storm is brewing outside and a tornado is seen forming in the clouds to the left. The policeman turns down the road toward the twister, reporting the tornado's whereabouts over his radio as he drives toward it. I've shut down 41 and Collier right now. It's getting ready to cross over uh, 41. Stand by. It's going over. It looks like Wawa. There are other cars on the road traveling in both directions. The enormous twister makes its way across the highway and traffic pulls to a stop. After a while, the tornado dissipates. Right. 
I know all the people in here that's from Florida that's watching like, yo, we see that all the time. And I, my, my thing is like, yo, I don't know how y'all deal with that. That, <sighs> the color damage. I can't tell yet. I'm trying to get these cars to stop. Um, Look at all, all that traffic in the other lane. I don't know if that's people trying to evacuate or what, but they're pretty late. I tell you that. This was one of the multiple tornadoes spotted in the area that morning. 28 homes were destroyed, while 62 more were damaged, making them unlivable. Number 20, the shadow enters. Are we being possessed by shadowy forces without even knowing it? Posted on Blah Blah's channel in January of 2022. This scary video is trending in the Arabic speaking YouTube community. The footage shows a woman walking a dirt path along a hillside overlooking a city. She is carrying a bag and she's alone. As the cameraman follows a short way behind, a mysterious and barely visible dark figure comes toward the woman on the path. The shadow figure runs right at the woman, but she doesn't notice it and continues on her way. Did the spirit possess her? Well, this captured our imaginations. As it turns out, after doing some research, I found the video is VFX produced by YouTuber Dark3. Still, the image will prompt you to look over your shoulder the next time you think you're alone. You never know what's behind you until it's too late. Number 19. March Air Force Base. Is this Air Force Base haunted? NBC C4 News tried to find out. This night vision video was captured inside an old medical building at the California base. The base has long been rumored to be home to paranormal activity. From knocks to figures appearing in one's peripherals, many who work there have substantiated these claims. The video appears to confirm that something unusual is happening at March Air Force Base. The footage shows what appears to be a large empty room, but when slow... Oh, those are, it's, I thought those were real people. Oh. Low down, two figures are lurking in the darkness. The shapes in the shadows certainly appear human. Some in the comments claim to have been stationed there and or visited the base and attest to the creepiness of the place. They even share some of their own paranormal experiences. 141, we have uh, seatbelts that move. We've picked up voices in it uh, by using recorders. You ready? Perhaps these ghosts are enacting them. Number 18, driveway ghost. Are there spirits at play here or just pranksters? Published in November of 2018, the security camera footage shows some suspicious activity in this man's driveway. A man is seen walking to his driveway's gate at around one in the morning. As he opens the gate and steps out, a chair that is sitting about 10 feet away flies off the hand handle, making the man jump out of there. Another dude is seen racing out of the driveway as well. Another short clip shows the man organizing and stacking items in a storage room. As he does, the door suddenly closes. Again, he jumps up, clearly scared. Are these strange events paranormal? Or is some jokester playing pranks on this innocent person? I'm siding with the paranormal option for this one. It might be time to call an exorcist number 17 they're here a bolt lock can't keep the paranormal out published by dark ghost paranormal in april of 2021 this is a true house of horrors as russian paranormal investigator dennis looks around the unsettling home something appears to let itself in Dennis backs off and shuts the door behind him, but that doesn't stop the unwelcome guest. After verifying that there's no one there, Dennis returns to his investigation. Close by, he hears a loud knock. Later, the wardrobe drawers open on their own. And what looks like newspaper is shoved up from one of them. 
Then the wardrobe doors open one at a time. The second one repeatedly swings open and shut. Dennis walks toward it and there's nothing inside, yet it continues to open and close. This occurs for several minutes. What's scary about that is some of y'all got some cabinets in your house just like that. Why don't y'all go check it out? Take a bat with you though. <laughs> Bro, what in the... Later, he hears a noise. A bunch of racket draws him to this cupboard. It sounds like all the dishes inside are jumping around. Opening the cupboard doors, he finds nothing out of place. He then hears another noise and finds a bag moving as it hangs on the wall, like there's an animal trapped inside of it. He takes the bag from its hook and opens it, but again, there's nothing inside. When he puts it back down on the bed, it continues to move. What is inhabiting this haunted home? Whatever it is, it let itself in. Number 16. I see you. When you speak with a ghost, they just might answer. Published by Jorge Tello in August of 2019, a security guard was working in what looks like a hotel in London when he heard this sound. The guard is seen walking into the stairwell, asking what's there. He then re-enters the hallway, and as he's walking down it, he hears the wailing again. Stay. Why they gotta play that Michael Myers music? Did anybody else get, <laughs> like, tense up when you hear that? Whew. After asking again who's there, this creepy rasping voice answers. At first, the voice is incomprehensible, but then it clearly says, I see you. Stay, wait me. What is watching the security guard? I don't think it could be anything good. Number 15. Y'all heard it say, ah. CEO. I would have left. Rituals, levitation, animal skulls, fire. This one has everything. These paranormal investigators have met their match. While looking around a ritualistic site, they come across this pentagram drawn on the wall. Nearby, rocks and candles are arranged alongside what looks like a black chopped off ponytail. There's a burnt animal skull posted up at the center of the pentagram. Later, the light from their camera shuts off. When it turns back on, a body has has risen in the air and hangs there limply. It's one of their crew members, and a moment later, he is found collapsed on the floor and unconscious. They check his pulse and manage to shake him awake. He stumbles up, clearly rattled. Not long after, a fire starts on the ground in the room. They don't know how it started. Is there some evil entity haunting these howled grounds? Brought to life by the rituals done here. Only Satan can answer that. Number 14. Figure in the Night. This ghostly figure is The Thief of Souls, published by Land on TV in November of 2021. One. This man encountered an obscure figure lurking on an empty road at night. After wandering through a quiet village in the late hours, the man spies the silent figure in the darkness. He walks in another direction but soon sees the figure again. As he yells at the shadowy figure, it moves away into the darkness. <laughs> Later, it seems he spies the figure up in the trees, either having climbed it or perhaps even hovering in the air. 
What does this thing want? I'm guessing his soul. Number 13, Shadow. I can barely see it. No figure. The shadows are coming for you. Published by ILM and Bono Paranormal in July of 2021. This creepy clip shows you are never as alone as you think. A man is walking through an abandoned building and his camera scans the room. Look carefully in the window pane. A shadow figure passes by, outlined against the glass. It's unclear if the figure is outside walking past or inside being reflected, but all I do know is the cameraman has company. Didn't even know he was in danger, bro. You know what I'm saying? Something that already snuck past you. No. If I were him, I'd be getting out of there ASAP. Number 12, the light. Some souls darken the doorways of haunted homes. Others grow as bright as they lived. Published by Sajid Hussein in August of 2021, this nest cam caught an unusual anomaly on this dark street at night. The video shows a vibrant figure glowing in the yard opposite the camera. The bright figure appears to be moving. It radiates while still for a moment before moving in a flash to a position about a foot away. The light then dims before glowing brightly again. It then enters into the street, glowing and spreading like fire. Throughout this, at times, it looks like one entity and at other times, two. At the end of the clip, the light subsides and disappears altogether. Where did the spirit go? Maybe this is the moment it crossed over. Number 11. Or maybe it was trying to tell you Look like it was signaling you, telling you where to look for something or where something might have happened. Maybe it was a murder took place down there and it came out to show you on screen where to look at. I don't know. That's how I think sometimes. Level 5 Poltergeist. Published by Tim Morozov in December of 2021, the paranormal investigator enters the most haunted of houses and encounters one of the most dangerous Level 5 Poltergeists he's ever faced off with. In the video, Tim draws a circle in chalk on the floor in the living room. Cameras are set up all around. He asks the spirits in the home to move things. After a time, something triggers one of his paranormal devices. Just about to say, you could tell it was cold in there. And they always say that cold makes you, lets you know it's a spirit nearby. Or maybe it's just cold outside. He wasn't walking in the snow in the beginning. So, you know what? Scratch that. <laughs> The thermal imaging camera shows a great white orb floating in the vicinity. The orb passes by him where it hovers over the Ouija board. The planchette starts to spaz out all over the board. It doesn't seem to be spelling anything, it's just going berserk. The light then floats out of frame. After this, several items in the room float into the air. The light reappears and then seems to- Can't be. He too calm. Ain't no way that's happening around him and he that calm. Rush past Tim, knocking him to the floor. It comes back and knocks him again. Is this the most aggressive poltergeist you've ever seen? Tim left with his life this time, but next time he might not be so lucky. Number 10, strange lights. There needs to be an explanation for these strange lights. Post it to the r slash ghost subreddit. Paleontologist Key 440 captured the security footage in his backyard. He writes that the property has been super active since they moved there in 2016. And this footage is from May of 2021, which must mean these types of occurrences are nothing new. The footage shows lights hovering and flashing, first to the left of the frame, and then on both sides simultaneously. Some in the comments think they're fireworks, but one user remarked that there is no smoke. 
What do you think it is? Extraterrestrial or paranormal? I don't think either option is very ideal. Number 9. Patrick Taylor Cottage Built in 1832, the Patrick Taylor Cottage is the most haunted and oldest house in Western Australia. Poltergeist activity has been reported every September, and some claim to have seen an apparition in military uniform with an arm sling. Many think the apparition is Major Frederick in Gold B, a former tenant who passed away in the home in September of 1942. But why does he still haunt the place? Published by Amy's Crypt in 1942. Died at Albany on Sunday night after a long illness. Associated Medical Practice Partnership. Served as a surgeon. I don't know. It don't sound like the soul or he was tortured or nothing like that where the soul would be at, uh, not at rest. Oh. But why does he still haunt the place? Published by Amy's Crypt in January of 2022, Amy went to find out. After the Albany Historical Society allowed her in after hours to investigate, the first activity is subtle, a light tap and a slight boom to see if these investigators are awake. I had that room, sorry. Yeah, just a little tap in here. To anyone around this device, after warming up their paranormal devices, a clock chiming sound is heard through the device. <gasps> that sounded like that, like, like a clock. It did, didn't it? Yeah. There is a grandfather clock in the room. When they ask about the clock, they hear a light tap again. I want to know about this clock. What's crazy is I think my grandma has that same clock sitting up in her place right now. She's had it since I know I was an infant as a kid. That clock, her and my mom's had that clock right there. And that clock used to always give me like weird vibes. Oh, I heard that. That definitely came from in that room, huh? They also hear footsteps and a knock. I hear footsteps. I did hear a knock in there. Although the sounds are always distant, like the spirit is avoiding them. Where is this reticent spirit? Is the major trying to make his presence known while keeping these intruders at arm's length? Number 8. Witch House The Terror Alex Extremo crew wanders the abandoned grounds of this haunted witch's house. In the middle of a forest, they hear a shrill shriek. While it could be human, it could also be harmless. It sounds like a bird call, but shortly after, a figure that they capture in a window seems to suggest otherwise. Are the legends true? I said it sounded like a bird call. I'd have been pissed. Like, birds should have been somewhere asleep. Not, not making them noises right now. Is this the witch that's said to haunt this place? I'm starting to think that it wasn't a bird. Number 7. Hotel Colorado This is one of the world's most haunted hotels. It was a naval hospital during the 40s and once housed a morgue. Some of its most infamous guests never left. Published by Kelsey Davies in January of 2022, this paranormal investigator and her mom visited the haunted hotel. This is what they found. Kelsey first hears a child's voice as she's wandering the empty hall. I keep me. I just heard a little kid. They continue to explore and hear more unexplained noises. Looks like she's After setting up a paranormal device, it starts to go off. They use copper dousing rods to ask the spirits questions. They discover that one is named Lorraine. A short while later, Kelsey asks the young girl she's speaking with to trigger the device, and she does. Oh my god! They then enter a creepy hallway, and using a Kinect app on the phone, they see a figure standing there. Later, she said, Is it standing or it's hanging? Look at that again. Using a Kinect app on the phone. But like it was hanging from that chandelier. 
phone. They see a figure standing there. Am I tripping? Later, she says she saw a man standing by the door out of the corner of her eye, one that she's seen before in the hotel. We communicate with anyone. No negative entities, please. Oh my god, I just saw a man. There's a man down here. I think it's the same one. And then the nearby paranormal device goes off. Is this ghost getting nearer? Here's hoping this spirit isn't stalking her. Number 6. Caught on doorbell cam. Posted to the r slash chills narrator subreddit, Nick Chocolate 19 posted two videos from the same night on a doorbell cam. The Redditor writes, On January 10th, 2022, at approximately 9 p.m. that night, my family noticed something weird on the doorbell camera. The orb-like item kept coming into view and setting off the security alerts all night long. Any idea what this could have been? An orb can be seen floating on the right-hand side, and it doesn't appear to to be going anywhere. The Redditor posted a second video writing, I posted a video yesterday about an orb on my doorbell cam. I'm posting another video because I want to show it couldn't be something like a helicopter. This is from 6.08am. It did this all night from 9pm. The fact that the orb was visible all night makes it less likely that it's just a camera glitch in my opinion. What do you think this is? Number 5. Bowling Alley Light, Put On Your Bowling Shoes, published by Joe MC in June of 2021. A mysterious bright light is roaming the lanes of this bowling alley. The light is seen hovering distantly into a lane to the far left for a minute before shooting to the right. The twinkling light pauses for a moment in one lane before shooting left again. It hovers there and flies about a minute more before the clip ends. What is this strange light? Is it the soul of a bowling enthusiast? If it is, is, I hope he gets a strike. Number 4. Cranberry Juice. It's half past midnight. Everyone's asleep. Except for this ghost. Published by The Haunted One in August of 2020. This short clip shows a thirsty ghost having a nightcap. Watch closely as the bottle on the counter moves ever so slightly on its own. It slides from the middle of the island to the very edge. Is this ghost about to smash some glass? Or is he just playing mind games? Either way, I definitely think this place is haunted. Number 3. Nest Cam Ghost Some ghosts just want a little attention. This one apparently isn't getting enough. Published by Jeff Miller in April of 2018. Watch closely as this ghost takes his revenge in this family's kitchen. Something flies off the wall shortly into the video that the uploader says is a picture. Having heard the disturbance, the home's resident enters the frame, heading into the kitchen. Did he come face to face with his ghost roommate? Unlikely. But maybe he should take the hint. The roommate wants the house to himself. Number two. You could tell he was used to it too. He walked out of the room. He was, it didn't look like he was looking around to see if somebody broke in the house. It's like he knew exactly what, what was going on or what possibly could have happened. Ghost Drift. A phantom drifts past. Never to be seen or heard from again. Published by Tammy Jackson in December of 2019. This ring camera footage captured something incredibly eerie in this person's yard. The footage shows a pale, full-bodied figure drifting across the yard. No features are discernible. It then appears to vanish. That's when the motion-activated lights on the garage are triggered. They shine brightly, casting light all across the yard, but there's nothing there. A house light also appears to be triggered, but still nothing else appears in the yard. Do ghosts trigger motion sensors? If not a ghost, who is this? I guess we'll never know for sure. I've got a challenge for you. Five, you're curious about the entire Poltergeist. Some people think photographs capture the soul. Maybe this soul didn't want to be cast. I'm starting to think that too, though. These photos and videos capture what our eyes can't see. Captured. Published by Dark Life in June of 2021. This poltergeist isn't playing around. While snapping photos in this haunted room, Russian paranormal investigator Dennis hears a rustling that he says sounds like it's coming from the basement. As he continues to take pictures, a massive wardrobe to his right is pushed over onto the ground. <laughs> Thank you. 
He leaves the room, and when he goes to re-enter it, he hears some strange sparking noises while standing in the doorway. The sounds stop. He looks around, asks who is there, but no one answers. Still, he appears to sense something watching him. Is Dennis alone here, or are the spirits all around him? If you're alone right now, I don't know where they at, but <laughs> you know what I mean? And then that poses a good question. Are we always alone, or are our spirits always with us? That'll help you sleep tonight, won't it? <laughs> my bad. He asked the question, and it just it lingered in my mind. So I had to ask y'all, man. Are we all are we are they always around us and we just don't know? And then when we take these pictures or these videos or use these devices and figure out, are we just learning something about something that's always been there? That makes you think, huh? So I tell y'all, man, <laughs> well, if you're home secure, that means you're just locking them on the inside. So I guess it don't even matter. But y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what y'all thought of 30 scary videos that will wake you up tonight. All right? It's your boy L. Till the next one. I'm gone. Peace.